Wayne Rainey brought us kids, two hicks from the sticks of South Arkansas to Nashville, Tennessee. And we had the opportunity to go to the Grand Ole Opry. And to this day, I still remember where we sat. I could go back and just tell you exactly where we sat at the Grand Ole Opry. That was the first time we ever played there, or we ever went to the Grand Ole Opry. The first time we went into a studio in Shreveport, Louisiana, KWKH radio station studios, and recorded Looking Back to Sea. Met Jim Reeves, Floyd Kramer. Remember very well getting on the bus in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, when the Army says, you belong to us now. <laughs> it took, and took us to Fort Smith, Arkansas, where we started, started our basic training, but I ended up in Colorado Springs. Whenever we recorded the Three Bells, Studio B here in Nashville, Tennessee, we told Chet that we were retiring because we had thought that we were going to retire. And I remember well, he was saying, after we re finished recording, he said, you kids think you're about to retire, but I think you've just recorded the biggest song that you'll ever record. You know what, he was right. But some of the greatest musicians in the world are out here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, when you want to record here, you get the best. When it comes to who inspired me the most, I guess I could say that uh, Jim Reeves was a great inspiration to me. Whenever we recorded our first song, he played rhythm guitar, and he took the Browns and Maxine and I, and well, took us all over the country, went to Europe a few times. But then Chet Atkins was a tremendous inspiration because he knew exactly what was a hit. He knew how to record it, and he knew what songs to be played for what artists. You know, and then the awards. So many great awards, you know, whenever, uh, whenever you have some hit songs that come along. I Don't Want to Have to Marry You, when it won the CMA Duel of the Year Award in 1976, 77, I guess it was. My philosophy of life is just work hard, play hard, enjoy life, because God meant for us to enjoy life. And I am one of those people that live it to the fullest. And I hope that you do too. But as to what they're going to remember me by, is basically all they'll remember me by is by my songs. I think as time goes by, they'll forget the man, but they'll remember the songs and who recorded them. But I do thank the Lord that he put me in the right occupation because I've been very happy here and I love to walk on stage. I love to meet people and I just love to sing my songs.